Hello and welcome back. I uploaded a video of my first match in Season 9 of the International Championship. and Now we're going to jump to the last match of my Season 9. And for that, I have a very special guest with me to help discuss this match. He was a player in the match and will be sharing his perspective as we go through the turns. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Okay, so this is a very special uh, video that we're uh, that we have here. I have Deluxe with me. So Deluxe, Hello. yes, he's here. He, uh, you know, is the big winner of the the tournament we did recently. Uh, he had a lot of support uh, come out for him, and it was actually after the tournament. I realized, you know, I recognized him there, and he was in the league with with me, and we were playing against each other. It was really exciting. And it was really close. We were first and second through the whole thing. And it all came down to this last match. Uh, I had beaten him once. He had beaten me once. And we had done well in the other matches. And first place was all riding on this one match. Um, yeah, so what what were you thinking going into this one? If anything. I mean, I was just hoping to get off to a good start and you know try to close out the division. It's pretty hard to win one of these. You have to be first of seven people. Yeah, I was not happy to see I was fourth place, <laughs> fourth, fourth position. Yeah, yeah. But I I get a good opening. I'm I'm happy about it actually. Great, um, and thank you for being here. I didn't say that either. I appreciate you coming on to talk about this. I'm excited to to hear what you have to say as we go through it. Because I thought it was a really interesting match for me. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. So let's uh let's start watching it, and we'll we'll see if we can make this work. Okay, so here we go. Here's the first turn, and it goes. So yellow takes Hammurabi, and so now it's on me. So there's probably a couple of choices here. What, what would you think about doing? I think Roman Rhodes is the best wonder, so that's always a good, a uh, best AJ wonder, so that's always a good choice. Or you could take Cleopatra and maybe Colossus or... I guess you could try Urban Growth, but then you might miss a Wonder. So I think it's between just take Roman Rhodes or take Cleo and Colossus. Uh, not Colossus, Coliseum. Yeah, yeah. I find that sometimes my choices in a game are influenced by what I did in other games. Like I don't, I sometimes don't like to do the same thing every time. Um, but yep, yeah, so I did the Cleopatra Coliseum route. I actually really like Coliseum. Um, you know, it just it fits me. I guess what I like to do with the happy face and the, the military action. Okay, so then red takes rich land and Roman roads. Yeah, that's then, what I would have done as red. And what did you do there? I took Homer and Acropolis. I actually think both are underrated, so I was pretty happy with this turn. I'm happy to play the Acropolis. Okay, cool. So that was turn one. All right, and then yellow Alex Hammurabi builds a bronze, takes frugality and stockpile, and then uh, and hanging gardens. All right, so it's my turn. Elect Cleopatra. I assume I'm okay. Yep, yeah, build the lab, increase power, take the rich land. I think that makes sense. Uh, that seems right. You want to use Cleo every turn if possible. Uh... Coliseum is good for that. Yeah, this seems like the obvious thing to do. Okay. And then awesome. red builds a bronze, increases pop, takes Aristotle and urban growth. I think Aristotle is not the best combo with uh, Roman roads. You're sort of crunched on actions when you get Roman roads. Right, right. And then now you're also spending your actions taking text to get some science. Yeah, so now I'm actually really happy. I have two leaders that sort of help you. Uh, I have a leader and a wonder that help with military. I got two good yellow cards. Now I'm actually really happy with my position. Perfect. And what did you built a bronze there? Is that what you did? Yeah, I always, I always try to increase population. I really hate missing out on development of religion. It's been kind of interesting seeing some of the tournament games on stream. Some people don't really seem to care. Yeah. I really hate missing it. Yeah, it, it is. It's uh, it's interesting, I guess, because the odds are against getting it, generally speaking. And and sometimes I can convince myself to not keep a population around just because the odds say it won't come out. 
you know, but it uh, it's hard to not get it. <laughs> it's like a civil action in three rocks. It's yeah, wild. it is. Okay, yellow plays an event, reveals development of science, increases population, takes Nostradamus. Oh yes, he is the very early Nostradamus here. Takes iron and swordsman. The points early. Yep. Okay. So here we have fancy controls to speed it up if we need to. So irrigation, development of agriculture comes off, I should say. Now we build the bronze and Colosseum with Cleopatra. Yeah, so now it's actually a question of what you'll do with the last two. So we do have really? Jan Zitska in the game. And I don't know what else I noticed there. But... Yeah. Well, my... Oh, this was this game too. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about this. This was just a, an example of where I, I think normally in this situation, I would take iron here. And I actually took irrigation just because I normally take iron. I just wanted to play with something different. I forgot I did that here. That makes sense. What well, What do you think you'd do here? Um, looking at the board, I think I'd usually take iron and increase. I think iron's a little better than irrigation, but they're they're sure. both they're close. You probably have enough rocks to get iron going since you have Cleopatra. It seems like you're trying to wait for Zizka. Yeah, I think I would have taken iron, but it's, it's hard to say. I think that actually was another reason why I took irrigation here, because I had resources from Cleopatra. I thought, you know, getting some balance with the food could be something interesting here. I like irrigation. It's a, it's a tough choice. Speed this up a little bit and see where we end up. I think so I'm just... knights breakthrough. I mean, I wouldn't have taken them for two. I guess maybe knights. Yeah, what did I actually do with my last action? Just increase population, I guess. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a reasonable thing to do. All right, red Alex Aristotle takes knights, increases population, and another thing, built a lab, I think. Yeah, I built the lab. Okay, we get devil planning. I don't remember what it was. So it looks like you took a population. Yeah, I like development of settlement. That's another thing I think is a little underrated. You know, it's food instead of rocks, but you kind of get a civil action, so I, yeah, I like it a lot. For sure. And then you took that iron that I didn't take there. Yeah, and I guess I get a breakthrough. Yep. There is the development of religion. So he gets his religion, finishes hanging gardens, and then it's my turn. It's a lot of happy faces now. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'm thinking about whether to play border conflict, but I skip that. And I guess I have to choose now between the two. Well, if I did want warfare here, I would have to choose between the two. But I th think I took the population. Yeah, I did. That looks that way to me. And then Colosseum. There's the Zizka. Yep. And then another population. I feel like you get Zizka in this game. But did you take him for three? I don't know. It would be a surprise. <laughs> Maybe he loops around. You do like yeah. to skip Janzitska. <laughs> um, I'm not a huge fan, but I would usually take him for like two. Yeah. I'm misremembering remembering a different game. So 
let's see, we want to get that irrigation started. If anything else oh, this happens. seems good. This seems good. You all have a lot of happy faces. This is a good. This is a good opening. Inflation going. <laughs> all right. So I'm thinking about the alchemy, which is interesting. Oh yeah, that's really good. This is actually kind of scary, right? Because Leonardo plus alchemy is, I think probably the strongest you can get. Oh, and now you have vast territory and uh, Columbus is in play. So you have a lot of really good potential leaders. Yeah. So what did... Uh, okay. So then your turn. You get the iron going, uh, upgraded, took an engineering genius. Yeah. I like engineering genius a ton. And I did, in fact, pass on Jishka. So right about me. Yep. Um, yellow gets the iron cartography masonry. That's probably too many texts for yellow, but okay. And here is where you pick up Jishka. Yeah, I think this is where I pick him up. This is actually not obvious to me if I would take Jishka or if I would take Columbus with vast territory. Is so powerful. Yeah, I probably. I mean, I, I probably don't value Columbus enough, generally, I guess. You get three yellows, you get a bunch of food, and Cleo is a pretty good leader to hold until the end of the age. So I think, again, I might ban Zizka. Yeah. But he's good. So let's see, I'm thinking here. You're taking a Leo, too. You had a lot of good choices. Yeah, I mean, I take Zitska here. I, I don't have a tactic. So I don't know that that's going to work out. So it is risky. And to your point, look, I mean, there's other options that I overlooked or, or didn't, didn't take here that could have been good. I think I would have gone for Leo here to be finish it out right because columbus is good but you already have coliseum and irrigation going mm -hmm. i think i would have gone for leonardo i think he's really really good with alchemy and and he would uh i mean he helps with just having three bronze a little bit too if i'm not able to get the iron yeah you'd get yeah you'd be basically he'd be giving you a science <laughs> and a rock a turn yeah You definitely can't play the border conflict if you go Leo, though. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm just figuring out, I think, whether to play that, probably. But I think we increase pop, take Yanziska, drama, frugality, and upgrade the alchemy, I think is what we do. Oh, this is, I had a lot of good choices. I like picking the drama, looking ahead, right? Because surely you noticed Bach and Marlena Dietrich are in. Yeah, that's the. That is definitely the idea. <laughs> some foreshadowing. There's some. There is some drama around getting that drama out. I don't know if you remember that or not, but we'll see. Yeah, no. I I rem the beginning of this game. I'm a little hazy on, but I remember the amount of the ending. Certainly that you yeah. got drama out. <laughs> And it, and it didn't. It didn't come easily either. Yeah. So I'm just trying to make this work. I guess here we can hurry up and get through this. Oh wow! I actually. That's funny. You see that? I did you not didn't take, take drama. I took the take a later drama. Wow. Take a later drama. So I remembered you get drama and you get monarchy in this game. So I wasn't sure. Yeah. Where they came from that while. Wow. Alright. Here, I'm actually hoping Great Wall comes back to me. Does. Yep. Um, so that's another spot where I'm super, super happy is when Great Wall comes back. And you... Uh, 
So you built the warrior, took swordsman, finished Acropolis. Uh, uh I finished Acropolis and I got iron going. Gotcha. Yeah, I must have built a warrior. That makes sense. Territory, not a very good territory. Win that one for two. That's good for two. You got a tactic now. So I'm happy about that. I think I actually bid for that one sort of specifically to try to get a tactic. That's why it felt important. Yeah, it was good. It was good there. Sending one warrior is good. And there's a knight. Yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, if I can make all that work, it's pretty nice. Yeah, so this is looking really strong now. Yeah. If you had to delay the monarchy a little bit, that's a huge deal. It's basically delays a civil action. Yeah. Not the worst. But we had... Um, so border conflicts in that deck now we're a good spot for that. Yeah, this is a good spot. Ice with Jizhka's uh, really uh, and medieval army is really scary because you can get so many copies of Med Army. Yep. So do you do this? Do you stare at that like pulsing end turn button for a while before you <laughs> press it? Uh, maybe sometimes. Depends you, on how I'm feeling. You definitely uh, play quickly. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm uh, in a lot of games I play quick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think about it, but I... Commit to your decision and get it done? I usually. Yeah, this this game with me and uh, Yellow, this game took a little while to get done. Oh, well, I mean, you were recording, but it, it did, in fact, take a while. Me okay. and Red played fast. Yes, yes. So Red did Alchemy and Barbarossa there, basically. That seems good. And you got a pact. Great, amazing pact. Luck for me. <laughs> and you're great. I, well. I actually really feel like this was a game where... All these swordsmen uh, going, then I would be in really happy shape. But your opening was so strong that I actually took a really risky line this turn. Um, it went by fast. Oh. So even your opening yeah, was so... Let's go... Let's see. We should go back to it. Take a look. Well, I mean, we, the, the key is just the, the number of cards left, right? So I'm going to lose Homer... Unless I get another leader. Mm -hmm. So, and it's risky that Saladin's going to come back to me. Yeah. So losing that happy face, it's not the worst ever, but it's not good. So, I just usually I would have been more conservative, but your opening was also so good that I figured I just had to risk it. Gotcha. Yeah, we all have we we have age one leaders here. Right. Yeah. So the the concern being that the the age just might end before he can get Saladin in. Yeah, that's the issue. Yeah. It won't fall off, but the age might end. You know, tw I usually think of like the age might take like ten to twelve cards in age one. You know, turn cycle, so it's possible. It's possible the age might end. Yeah. Okay, that was my main comment there, so I decided to be risky about it. Yep. Okay, so Knowledge of the Ancients comes out. He upgrades in Iron, uh, developed Cartography, took Alchemy. It was going a little fast, but that was about it. Uh, okay. I know nothing about the deck. So 
Can we skip politics for now? Get monarchy, another army. They're going up to 10 with two people. That's pretty crazy. I mean, you have the territory, but still. It definitely felt good to do this part of the game, though. Yeah, your opening seemed really strong. Just good. Definitely worked out. So we increase pop. Take some yellows. Are the irons gone now at this point? I think they are. I think they're gone. That was another problem in this game. Yeah, I was figuring you had to get this drama, right? Because it's not going to loop around. Yeah, it's interesting Maybe thinking about it didn't? now. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, keep going. Oh, I, I was just going to say the. It's interesting now to, to think that that iron decision, iron irrigation decision, actually becomes pretty consequential in this game, also. Because you don't get an iron. Yeah, and we'll see what happens after that, too. But I did not take that drama. Interesting, huh? Oh, you get it for one. Right. Uh, and I did not play any politics there. All right, so red reveals developed territory. And what do we do with it? So I think I'm checking what was bid last time. I think they were all just twos. So we try four. Oh, so I think that's uh, so. Yeah, that went really fast, but I did not bid four because he won it for three. I think I only bid two. Um, yeah, and you see, you see why I was worried about this. The deck is on one card. Yep. <laughs> yep. So the risk paid off there. <laughs> Uh, one card. All right. Uh, yeah, I get the laws, which is really good. I can finish my wonder next turn, so I'm really happy about this turn. I mean, this is all really good. And cultural influence comes out, and then he does masonry, takes the Taj Mahal, and yeah, he did one other thing. You can talk about your turn. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Just just keep going. Okay, cool. Um, so again, I think we are considering an event here. Um, So I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Um, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think I'm looking at what everybody bid. I'm trying to understand maybe if anyone has uh, defense cards, because red uh, only has two military actions, only two cards, and I'm looking what they bid to see if I might do an aggression. So I'm thinking about that. And, you know, definitely <clears throat> can't do one against blue. But let's see. So we think about that for a while, and we do. We try it. So let's see what happens. And it was successful. So we did do the aggression against red, and took some food at least to help increase population. Just funny, we have irrigation, we don't have it out, and then we are taking food. This is another card you wind up getting, right? Which is the ocean liner. Yes, yeah. I guess that looped around. Yeah, yeah. 
We've got that drama for one there, and I did an aggression against red. Uh, was what I did for my politics that turn. And it was successful. And I just thought it was funny. I think I took some food from the plunder. But I have an irrigation that I didn't get out yet. Yeah. Now there's selective breedings and stuff out. But irrigation will work out if you get the boat. I think irrigation is probably what you want with the boat anyway, at least yeah. in some cases. Yep. Just really so easy to upgrade a couple farms. Here I'm building a fourth bronze. Actually, yeah. What was that? So that's probably fine here. I don't do it very often. I don't do it very often either. Yeah, but I think I, I think I'm I'm fighting corruption a little bit, and I need I sort of need the resources at the same time. Before bronze is not. I mean, it can lead to corruption also. Sometimes a problem. I'm not the biggest fan, but sometimes it could be correct. So here it's better, I think, once you get the yellow from the ocean service liner, which is coming at some point. And then... We're looking to get rid of the vast territory and the Uh, no sense keeping the vast territory. Yeah. All right, so red uh, takes and develops selective breeding and takes a rich land. Same thing as what they did. All right, and you're up. Uh, I card, which is Nobel. Yeah, super early Nobel. Yeah, that's really strong. And and you are. You're, you're, you like Nobel a lot, right? Yeah, I think I think he's probably the card that should go for three the most. I'm almost always happy to take him for three. Especially. Unless it's a, you know, especially early. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you actually get a lot of use out of him. Yeah, he sort of fixes my science, which was really low. Mm-hmm. All right, so yellow reveals good harvest. Uh, Taj Mahal, knights, takes knights, builds a warrior. They have a lot of warriors going there now. There's a lot of warriors and swordsmen in this game. I will say, this is another spot where I felt like this was like a real battle of the titans or something, because I think the best wonder to get early in age two is, in fact, Ocean Liner. Yeah. So you, you wind up with the best early wonder, I get the best early leader. So it's another, things are going well on both sides. Yeah. Yep. And there is Ocean Liner. And then what else might we do here? Maybe, maybe. Somehow get out of corruption. I don't think you can. Maybe you could build a knight's. Knight could build a alchemy. Three labs, three, four bronze, even with the ocean liner is taxing. Yeah. Uh, I think about it at least in my hands full. That, that's an interesting line taking the architecture you would have a lot of science so maybe this would have been a good way to do it but i don't believe this is what you do no i don't think so i would have enjoyed having that science later on though uh yes but <laughs> um, here what exactly you do is i don't remember exactly either Yeah, what what would be? I mean, definitely take Ocean Liner. That's so strong. Okay, so I research irrigation basically to take architecture, build a knight, and take Ocean Liner, and take some corruption. 
Right, so we both had to corrupt to get really good cards. Interesting, yeah. So I, I guess I, I mean, the knight helps me be stronger. I don't know that, I, I don't think I have knowledge that that's useful, but I think it's never a bad thing. Where's the border conflict? Do we remember what happened to it? We were talking about it earlier. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I guess it, I don't think it came out. Reign of Terror came out. But I guess. Yeah, Reign came out. Yeah. So, Bach is in there. All right. Kept the war and just gotten rid of the Dark Ages. Yeah. Why not a huge deal? Um, okay. uh, so, yeah, not, not too important, but he built something, he started the Wonder, he started Silk Road. All right. So that was all very fast, but do you want to talk about that at all? Yeah, so this was another good turn, right? So I get the Republic which is really strong. Um, I can do it for, I think, eight science because I have the Acropolis. I declare a war on uh, Marco. We still have an open borders agreement, which yeah. is really going to kill him. <laughs> um, I take the selective breeding. You need food at some point in this game. Yep. You can. So that was pretty much a really good turn for me. That was a great turn. Yeah, and the, those, the civil actions that you have now are really painful for the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have eight. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was an intimidating turn. Yeah. Um, it, it really, I mean, it really felt, I guess, to me, like, you, you know, you, you did that war, and it, it felt like you started to, from my perspective, take a hold of the match. You know, you, um, you know, we're strong. Uh, just, just there were a lot of things in your favor. The, right around there was when I started to get a little worried. Yeah, I definitely was strong, but the, you know, with the ocean liner, that's almost like a seventh civil action. At some point, you get a sixth one. Mm -hmm. And you know. Um, you know, if Bach had just come out a little earlier or something, you know, like Bach drama is really strong. So I, I didn't feel like I was out of the woods yet at all. Yeah. Bach can just be so powerful. Yeah, I mean, that's basically every turn now. I'm waiting for Bach to show up. Yeah, and I get lucky, and it's it's a while. <laughs> you can, like, I, I actually keep putting drama off in a lot of ways because I'm waiting. Um. Yeah. Also, you know, just to uh, warn the viewers, some crazy things happen with PAX this game, which sort of <laughs> help get you back into it. Yeah. Very crazy things happen. So that that was good. I mean, you, you just got a bunch stronger, and then the Uncertain Borders came out as well. So that was good. Yeah, that was really good for me, too. Okay, so I, I play around with getting the drama out here. But if I just wait one more turn, then Bach may be here. I think you just got to finish the boat, usually, with yeah. a pen. Yeah. I wonder if that's what I stick with. I seem to remember getting another turn of corruption. I don't know if that already happened. So that was a really interesting seed that you put in the Dark Ages. Yeah. Okay. I think... Uh, um, yeah, I did put that in. And then it became kind of a pain later. And had to play around it. That was one of the situations where I had to take a risk. And... 
I got a little lucky later, and we'll see that happen. Um, but I did put it in, I, maybe just for the fun of it, I guess. I don't know. Because <laughs> it's such a it's such an annoying card, and it's even more really? annoying when you know it's there. I think. Oh, really annoying when you lose five science or something. Yeah. But, you know, when there's so many age one cards, you got to be careful of them. Also put in the um, the arms industry, which was really good for you later. Yeah. Yep. So I am just thinking about what to get rid of. Popularization of science was my other discard there. All right. And then red develops and builds a team sports, takes efficient upgrade, and builds a cavalry army. So that was annoying. You took his cartography. Up and immediately get a territory. Immediately, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So I, I do the best I can, I think, here. That seems reasonable. Very good about the game, but again, we'll we'll see about these packs yeah. <laughs> when they come in. <laughs> I think Red semi doomed himself with Silk Road. It's an okay wonder, but. And I've taken it in these international champs games, but it's. I think you really need masonry or like six civil actions. Yeah, I, I don't take it very often. That's for sure. Um, okay, so you take the Louvre, you rebuild your swordsman, and I think you took engineering genius. And yeah. Yeah, this help with the Louvre. Yeah, it's just so frustrating that you can take so many things. Your civil action. So he actually only has four, and you only use three of them that turn. Yellow the hand, hand banged, right? Uh, hand capped. So here, probably trying to decide if I should play any. Decide to skip. Um, think about getting a third army there. That was so oh, the Calperman can't be right. Yeah, no. I, I would doubt you did that. Thinking about that drama again. <laughs> <laughs> but if I just wait one more turn, then Bach will be here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. DJ Parson always says, whichever leader you're praying for is always the bottom card of the deck. Yeah, definitely. They get very shy. I guess you were hoping to draw like mobile artillery or something as the tactic. You do have fortifications, but yeah, it ends up being. Oh, there was the call to arms, which didn't work out so well for me. So what did I? I, I, I guess I just decided to risk it there and and play something. And call to arms is not the best thing. I mean, you hit the pact, but yeah, it's not its not a good thing to hit, get hit by. I think if you have Ocean Liner, it's probably like even worse than getting hit by something like Refugees. Right. Which I guess is in your hand, but... Right, because you can just keep getting population. Now I am thinking about what to do. What have I done so far? I, I didn't even notice. You just lost two civil actions. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, I actually had thought about a turn before Call to Arms came out of taking Justice System because there's sort of. I just found I was struggling to like find something productive to do at this turn, and I had thought about just grabbing Justice Service Justice System. To get a, an extra CA. 
But since I lost the two, I can't do that anymore. Yeah. yeah I, don't know. I mean, is anything jumping out to you here for this turn? I'm not sure what I would have done on this turn. So yeah, this I, is... yeah, I go with the religion in hope that I can get Bach to upgrade them. Is the idea there? Yeah, that's that's somewhat reasonable. And then you just take the reserves, be sure a little low on uh, rocks. Yeah, the call to arms kind of ruins the turn. Or do you stay the weakest? I don't remember. What was that? Don't remember if you get stronger oh. here. I don't think I do. Hmm. I, I think I had to ride a. Uh, a turn or so out weaker. I, I mean, maybe I build a warrior, but I. I think I don't. Yeah. Hmm. That's, that's a tough turn. I, I, that I, aren't super good for you. Some of the hesitation on the warrior, maybe, is, is that I'm trying to get to fortifications. And I don't want to yeah. put a person there. That makes a lot of sense. That call to arms was really dangerous, right? Because now you have to risk your own dark ages just nuking you. Yeah, exactly. Yep, that was that was one of the things uh, I was worried about. I think actually what I put in was independence declaration, <laughs> and. It was kind of interesting because I, I, after I played it, I, I kind of had second thoughts about it. And I'll, I'll pause on your turn for a sec. But I had second thoughts because I'm the weakest. I have a territory. Um, and I still put that in, which brought Dark Ages closer and put a strength event in when I'm the weakest. And I, I didn't feel real good about that after I did it. But I think I was feeling some... Well, I was throwing caution to the wind for one thing. But I felt some pressure to understand the deck and just to even get the points from the event. I think I was feeling that pressure a little bit at this point. I mean, the points add up. Yeah. Uh, if you're not seeding events. Uh, I think this turn for me is pretty easy. I have eight civil actions, so I'll just take strategy for three, develop it, finish the Louvre. Yeah. And then I guess I take Simon. It's a very clear turn. That turn feels pretty good. That's the turn. So he developed alchemy, took selective breeding, I don't know. yeah, something like that. Okay, now you have to not seed, right? Because you can't yeah. get hit by dark ages. Yeah. I'm not going to do that 50-50. I actually, after this turn, I remember like kicking myself because I'm like, so I think two events I had, I didn't seed, were like pestilence and something else, and I'm like, I'm not that good at increasing pop. Other people are better. I don't want to see Pestilence. And then after your turn, Dark Ages comes out, and I'm like, oh, I could hit him with Dark Ages. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you just get the agreement. Yep, yeah, so this is the first pact. Trying to get some extra resources. And he takes it, so that's good. A super good pact. Experience. I mean, one one slight problem is that I'm getting five blue tokens on bronze, which which can become an issue. It's definitely actually... risky. I actually on this was really unsure about whether I should put fortifications out, because you were holding cannon. Yeah. <laughs> I I uh, I went back and forth. Like I I kind of wanted to be stronger. But I didn't want to give you that tactic. I thought if you didn't have one already, you, you might wait on cannon. Did that make a difference for you at all in this case? That um, I have no playable tactics. Yeah. So eventually, I was like, okay, I'm going for a, a, a mini cannon setup after you played that. Yeah. So putting it out there was definitely risky. So I'm, I'm thinking about what event might come out that would make this tactic worth playing here. But I definitely went back and forth on it. I 
And then I get that justice system that I had thought about before. And then reserves, troops and resources seems about right. There's a lot of cards looking back on this game that, you know, remember me getting or you getting or Red getting. Like, Red gets a Kanman. And I see them come out for three, and I'm like, did somebody take it for three? Nope, they just get it for one. <laughs> yeah. Confirming. Oh, I switched to a breakthrough, maybe. Yeah, that, that could be good. You have uh, you don't have a ton of science. So no, wrong. don't have a ton of either. Could use that third alchemy. No. Yes. I'm showing yeah, box. Just rocks to... was pretty good. What's that? The rocks was pretty good. Yeah. I pulled Bach up there just to reiterate that I haven't seen him yet. Hoping he'll show. Yeah, I'm. I'm asking him to show up. If I just wait one more turn, then he'll show up. <laughs> so I think about getting rid of this, and I don't do it there. At that point, you don't need the heavy cavalry at all. Yeah. Red gets the Kanman, which makes the game a little bit less unfair. Oh well, <laughs> now he's at plus. Now you know Red's in front of me. I mean, he winds up later in the game taking a lot of yellow cards. He's, yeah. I guess, a big fan of yellow cards. Um, this turn, I mean, he really likes yellow cards. There's the Dark Ages. Oh, that now it comes out. I managed to avoid it. I felt good about that. Yeah, so I guess I upgrade my farm. I don't play an event. Urban growth? That seems like a pretty good turn. I guess I probably wanted the patriotism, but whatever. Frugality is pretty good. And I corrupt here, yeah. Uh, as good a turn for me, but I, I don't think there was too much else I could do. The org religion is a little bit sketchy. I think I do wind up... I mean, I know I play, them, play it, but it's not a great card. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it works out. I we'll talk about it when we sort of get there, but it's I don't even think I needed the org religion. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it yeah. It's nice to have, but I, I don't think I needed it. Okay. This turn I was in shock. I thought for sure you would take Bach, but uh, you do something else. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, we'll see it, but it doesn't. It doesn't work out. Like I, my assumption was that oh, he's there. I'm gonna grab him. Um, but I felt like I had to take a risk and not do it. Uh, you do something else cool. So I take the resources. Yeah, and then I, I definitely try to make it work here. And and you you also notice Bach showed up at the very end, and Cole showed up at the very end. So like both of those things. Waited until the very end of H two, which is a little, little rough for me. That's definitely rough. I agree with that. This turn, I guess, one reason not to do it is you lose the rich land, which is not good to lose at two resources. That's as bad as corrupting. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I want to, I, I want to get my rich land and my drama out, um, just because, like, I either try to get back and some culture or I try to fix my resources a little bit here. And and I feel like I'm I'm in the corner enough at this point that I have to take a risk. Or I guess I'm wondering why you're so afraid of playing on plus five for a while. You know that's not that's not that low. Yeah I don't know I don't know why yeah I don't know why either. <laughs> more worrying for me would be so you you have monarchy right so if i go monarchy which i really like then i'm really looking for um like an h3 government mm -hmm. so 
I would almost have been more afraid about the science, not the resources. Though, uh, you know, the resources, you know, your line winds up pretty strong, but. Yeah, and I think that's actually what I do here. I, um, <clears throat> I try to fix my science a little bit um, by going to this pact. So the idea here is instead of going to Bach, I'm going to try to like, quote, fix my science by getting the scientific cooperation pact and then fix my resources. Since I'm going to lose one resource, if I do that, then I, then I, I try to get into coal. Yeah. Yeah. This was pretty cool. I, 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 I like this line. So I'm thinking about it and I'll, I'll do it here at some point. Spoiler. Yeah. But it was definitely, this was a, this was a hard turn. It's international trade agreements so strong too, but Cyclops good, super dangerous, and he accepts it, which I was mostly happy to see. I was sort of I could have gone either way. I was like, if he doesn't take it, I'm probably happy. If he takes it, I'm happy. And now you get two texts out. You can get the drama out. Yeah, this is this is pretty strong. And I get the efficient upgrade. I like that. And I have always found the games where I have coal, you know, hopefully you have a little more upgraded than currently, but coal and the ocean liner, you wind up with a lot of stuff in the late game you can do. Mm -hmm. um, so this is going to be a, an interesting H3. In terms of the other players, uh, yellow is in dire straits. Yeah, they're in a tough spot. Um, Red could maybe come back because they have the Kanmon now, they have some production, but I don't think they're ever going to get the uh, Catherine expansion. No, I, I think they, they try. But... They're, they're a bit in it. You know, they, they have so many yellow cards, they have a good number of military actions. I think maybe Red needs to go for a war or something. Yellow just, I don't know what yellow can do. Yeah, Yellow's riding Nostradamus for a very long time. Early age one, yeah, but, all the way through age two. Yeah, Yellow has the culture lead, but it's tough to hold on when you're still on despotism and you don't have... I mean, I very rarely do well in a game where I'm on despotism until age three. Yeah, it's hard. For sure. All right, Get through this turn i'm pretty much just going to take this and go with it but it's hard it's hard to commit to this because i mean bach is right there and yeah. yellow needs an h2 leader still so i i make that choice and then cross my fingers and just hope the box sticks around basically yeah, that makes sense let's see so red i'm about to get lucky again let's see what red does yeah, so red does do a war Rifleman develops it, plays Wave of Nationalism, and upgrades the three Rifleman. So they are stronger with Catherine, so they could use it if uh, they want. Yeah, one problem is they only have the one select. This is where I got lucky, is uh, stealing the science. Yeah, right before their War of Technology, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not. I mean, they're going to produce, so it's not going to spread too hard. Yeah. Um, but it does. Yeah, this lets you get into scientific method right away, right? Yeah, that's the key. Oh, this is a turn I mess up. I'm pretty unhappy. Um, you know, I take this urban growth here. I was thinking maybe I'll get into Sid Meier or something, but like mm -hmm. uh, military buildup's a better card than urban growth three. I have to at some point build cannons, right? Either I'm going to get into your fortifications or one of the H3 techs that has a bunch of cannons. Yeah. And usually I was thinking to myself, like, maybe how weak can I get? Can I get weaker than Marco? But, like, with military buildup, since the two of you are strong signs, you know, you just change tactics to one you don't fulfill or something. Like, I should have taken military buildup. Yeah. This was a mistake. 
It's a really strong card. Okay. Arms Industry comes out. So the timing was good there. And to my relief, he takes Watt instead of <laughs> I saw that and I was very happy. I mean, I'll take a little bit of luck and I can get it. Okay, so I see this war here. And I just got four science from my scientific cooperation pact with yellow. Uh -huh. And I want to generate some culture. I want yellow to stick around also. Like, I'm not sure at what point yellow is going to feel like they need to resign. <laughs> and so I want to encourage yellow to stick around. I think, and there were a couple of reasons for that. I think they only had four civil actions. So it, it, it you know, if a card comes out after your turn or something, like there's just a, a, a much better chance that I'll be able to grab it. And so it just gives it gives like me extra ability to grab cards if he can stick around in the game. That was that's my thinking at least. Yeah, that's a good way to think about it. So I am thinking about what to do. So on this turn, there's I'm not going to use any science. So that pact that I have is not doing anything for me right now. Um, so I don't know. I'm just thinking about stuff. But eventually I offer this. A very interesting offer. What do you think of that? Is it a... I think it was good based on this like keep him in the game logic. The other logic, the other line, I think is just hope he doesn't concede and like I don't know, take maybe democracy and rev idea or something, something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what I do here. I guess I start getting into cannons. Is what happens here? Yep. Yeah. When I take air forces for three. Uh, another spoiler, I never even developed them, so that was probably not a good move either. But, I mean, you, you sort of have to have it, though, right? I, I mean, in case you need it, you want to have it. Just maybe? Like, tactics I can get into in age three with, you know, cannons and stuff and um, a bunch of swordsmen. I... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that was really right. Maybe I should have taken like democracy and pro sports or something instead. Or just yeah. take Steve Jobs, right? To get happiness. That would have I don't know. I don't think this was a pick. Yeah, that's tough doing. So okay, so he elects Watt, develops selective breeding and upgrades it. Um, and has four <laughs> corruption now. So he's getting into a rough rough spot. And I didn't even see actually I wasn't paying attention to what I did with the rest of my turn, but I'm um, just I'll note a couple of things that, that happened there. So like I did actually build the, the opera with Bach, but I didn't upgrade anything to it yet. But it was super lucky that Marlena came out when she did um, for me because I had a big happiness problem. I did not have a great way to fix it. And she was super helpful for that. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I think it was really good for you to take the Air Forces, but um... Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I think it's going to be good for you. You you don't have the Great Wall to help you. That's why I think I don't need it. Gotcha. Yeah. You have Marlene. Yeah, she's pretty good. She's pretty good with it, especially with Air Forces or getting some tactics. Um, I'm not sure what the last card you should take is. And I think at this point, too, I, I'm trying to do... Uh, I mean, I want to get into a position to... Uh, basically attack yellow. Um, I mean, I, I feel like I'm I'm gonna have to do that at this point. So here I, I upgrade the religion to the opera with with Bach first, then elect Marlena, and then build the last one. 
So, I mean, I'm in a reasonable spot, but I still feel like I'm up against the ropes here against you for sure. Yeah, but it's not, you know, if you look at the culture, it's it's pretty close. I have a lot more science production. Yep. Uh, but you, may, you know, maybe have a better chance. I, I'm basically up science is the main thing I'm up. Yep. And so it, that's an edge. It feels like there's more to your advantage also. Like, uh, you're, you're maybe... Civil action. Yeah, that for sure. I think maybe, maybe you're holding cards also. Um, yeah, but again, you have the ocean liner, which is almost like a seventh civil. So I think I'm pretty favored here, but it's not. Not a. I wasn't uh, feeling out of the woodwork yet. Yeah, yeah. So I get harmony and variety here. All right, let's. Uh... Really interesting is the. Percy is just like around the table. Mm hmm. Uh, everybody I, is really preparing for war. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so, Red gets some knights, up to tanks, takes the patriotism, upgrades, and takes Ruby. I actually did, yeah, I, I got, I, yeah, I'm on three coal. I just was going to say that earlier. But... So, what do you do here? Maybe pause it. This is a weird turn. Yeah. So I had to choose between either going Nelson Mandela or going Jobs. Again, I may have made yet another mistake, but Mandela is at least okay here. I mean, I don't have many extra yellows, so he's not going to give me a lot of points, but he does give me another civil action. It's actually going to turn out useful in like two turns. Um, and I wasn't sure I would have enough rocks to make jobs work sure um it was a it was a, i think it was mostly just worried about not having enough rocks uh, also if i take jobs this urban growth that i ridiculously regret like maybe we'll <laughs> just do nothing i think if this had been the mill theory i would have definitely gone jobs because i would have had way more rocks but uh, yeah and now I have to, I spend a cube on the Louvre, but that's fine. And now I have entrenchments, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling good here. Yeah, at this point I wondered, uh, <clears throat> well, yeah, I mean, you ended up with your own cannon tactic here and did not have to copy fortifications. Yeah. At this point, unless you wore yellow, uh, I will definitely win. But the problem is that I have pretty low uh, military actions and I don't have a war and in fact I never draw one interesting so um, it's yeah, gonna that... have to be the deciders what happens with yellow and stuff I wondered about that it took me a long time to draw a war also yeah. um, okay and when you oh go for it it's like then when you get it you're a little crunched on a uh, military action also yeah it's, it's a little tricky Okay, so he offers me peace treaty, and I do not think that's in my best interest here. <laughs> so unfortunately, I, I have to reject this pact with my pact buddy. Yeah. What does he do? Um, yeah, we'll see. Project that one. Freedom of movement. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I, I guess I didn't actually record what he did, but I think I bring the, the, the log up. I think. Just moved a knight to cannons, right? I think so, yeah. So or this was really cannon? interesting for me, too. What to do here. Um, just because there's... I have a science crunch, but I need to get stronger. And so I build Manhattan Project. And I don't know. I was never real confident about that decision. Well, one way to think about it, right, is that you can finish Manhattan Project on the same turn you declare a war. So maybe you should have just built, like, cannon or something, but then you can't draw the wars. This is a really tough spot. Yeah, I definitely tried out 
uh, other other versions of that. Um, I think I was I was a little afraid like if I developed air forces and built it because I already have two tactics with Marlena on fortifications, and if I develop air forces, if computers comes out, I can't develop it. Um, so I was worried about that. I wanted to sort of stay in a position to increase my science if I could. Although it's, I mean, it's getting late in the age already. Like Bach and Cole waited till the end, and now we're not seeing a computers either. So just yeah. a lot of my problems end up being hard to fix. I think I would have gone the Air Forces because you have a lot of resources, right? I mean, well, less now that you finished, <laughs> you spent fourteen on the Manhattan Project, but yeah. I think I would have built the Air Forces instead try to finish Manhattan on the turn I declare the war. Yep. But this is a it's a tough spot. I think also I might be thinking about saving saving science to do a to get a Nobel Prize. Might be something I'm thinking about too. That's a big effect. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Now you have 18 science. I mean, yeah, that that third alchemy would come in handy. Yeah. You have architecture, colonies. I guess you never drew impact of population. That was a card I was afraid of the whole time. Yep, I, I, I do like a, a Hail Mary at the end. And I don't get it, but we'll, we'll see when that happens too. So, so, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what to get rid of. I think there could be an option here to do international tourism with red, I think, because we both have several wonders. So I keep that one around. Uh, tourism is really good. So there I drew my two wars. Uh, oh, so you get a second war. War of culture and a hybrid war, yeah. And that gets to be a little tricky too. Okay, so red declares a war on yellow. Now I actually start to get a little bit worried about staying ahead of red. Uh, or yellow just resigning at some point. I mean, this is getting brutal for yeah. yellow. Yeah. I aggress him, right? Yep. That's one of the times you raided him. And then, let's see. I'll just try to... Let me try to play your turn just a little. Yeah, so I think this is like somewhat clear what to do. Maybe I don't remember exactly what I did. I'm trying to play. I know. Oh, this is another turn I get lucky because just in. I guess maybe I didn't need to be afraid at all, but I wanted to be able to like. Air forces next turn if I needed to, but like there was really no need. I wasn't going to get ward on. Yeah. So I really didn't need, I mean, the revolution idea was good anyway, but I'm just going to go for the democracy here to get points shortly. Yeah, I remember on this, I was deciding whether to take democracy or tanks, I think. Um, thinking that next turn I could develop the, sorry, I don't want to talk during your turn, but I was going to develop the democracy and then I could build a fourth drama to get some more culture. But it just didn't, I was really worried about you doing a war on me. And I felt like I would just have a lot of trouble actually getting the democracy out um, because it, it was going to be all of my science and then I couldn't get the Air Forces and it was just not going to happen. So I, I opted to go with the tanks instead. Yeah, I mean, the democracy winds up being good for me. Um, so maybe that was the, a key turn. But at any rate, uh, let's just play it out. I'm sure I just like build up my military and play the democracy here. Yep. And I just give up on drawing any wars. Yes. Additional Red Cross comes back, and I believe it will. I, I mean, it does, but I, I thought it would. Oh, it was paused. Okay. I don't and have a war in hand. You don't? Nope. Yeah. Okay, so Yellow takes Air Forces, develops it, builds two. Just those two military actions are really hard for them. 
Um, okay, so here we start to make, or I have to make some decisions. So I'm definitely going to do a war against yellow here. And I think some of the question is, which war do I use? The hybrid or the regular? So the hybrid war, um, yeah, there's like there's a couple of things at play here. I put impact of happiness in, and so I didn't want that to come up when I had uh, a discontent worker. I was also really worried about, um, I think emigration had already come out, but civil unrest hadn't. And I was pretty sure that there was a civil unrest in there, just because uh, it seemed based on what was around that it, it was a likely event to have been played. And so I was a little worried, you know, about having a discontent worker here. Do I try to fix that um, or not? I was also a little worried if he saw, <laughs> like, if he was facing a uh, uprising, he might resign. And I didn't want him to. Um, so there were those considerations. And, and I didn't Normally. even really, I didn't have a way to use the last military action with hybrid war. Um, but I would have drawn a card, and I think maybe drawing a card, you know, I could draw something useful. I end up going with the regular culture war here. That's probably fine. And then I think I'm looking at maybe I can do the hybrid against red next time, and, you know, maybe they'll have a happy face problem if I war them with the hybrid war. That makes sense. The problem is, right, that you're only going to get off the one war, right, because he's going to take Gandhi. So maybe you could have taken military theory instead of air forces. And then you could have gotten the second war off next turn. Yeah, yeah, that could be. Uh, he winds up getting pretty strong anyway, but maybe that's what I would have tried. But I, I don't think it would have worked, but I think that's what I would have tried. Yeah, I think here I'm I'm thinking, well, I, there's a reasonable chance I can war against yellow or red next turn. Mm. Um, especially if red is going to have a happy face problem from the hybrid war. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking about that here. Am I going to be able to do that? Um, so we end up with these two cards left. Red wins that war. And then they do an aggression as well. Yells having a hard time. Yeah. And this was a thing I did not account for properly. He gets the movie with Chaplin. And so he has no happy face problem anymore. Okay. Then you want to talk us through that? Uh, yeah, I mean, he cannot defend. So uh, my only other cards in hand that do anything are like um, impact of strength or something. I have an impact and now I just need to get points. So that's just like seven points for a card. That's really good. Mm -hmm. And then here, I think there's two choices, right? So one choice is actually to, I, I'm gonna take the International Red Cross because it's a bunch of points, but I could either um, play reserves and get a fourth one, a fourth uh, thing on it, or I could take whatever I took, which I think is like, Okay, what do, what do I take here? <laughs> uh, uh, I take something. Be... No, I play the um, I play the org religion and I upgrade it. Yeah, because if I do the other line where I take res play reserves and build the fourth stage, then I'm gonna have happiness issues on the next turn. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can solve it by just like building religions. But I I did not want to have happiness issues on the next turn. So yeah. I just decided to go this way. I mean, it also gets you Mandela points. Yeah, yeah, it gets Mandela points too. But uh, the other way is like the six points immediately. There's only one more turn. Or I guess there's two points. So I think this line is probably better. But this is just like a straight points grab. Yeah, I mean, from one perspective, you're in a, just a very dominant position. But from another, I keep holding out hope. <laughs> 
You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, we didn't talk about it, but last turn also there was, um, on your turn, there was a uh, United Nations. So, like, one thing that's kind of weird about this game, right, is on the last two turns, you have, like, a bunch of rocks and, like, there's not that much to do with them because the wonders all came out early, right? If there was a wonder that came out now, you could just take it and finish it on the final turn. Yeah. But all the wonders are already gone. Um. So the video is kind of messed up right now, but yeah. Okay. Yellow is helping me by getting stronger and taking Gandhi. Yeah. It's yellow. Yep. So I got 17 points. Um, so I think basically what made me feel better every time is that I ended my turn with the same number of points as you started your turn with. <laughs> so it made me feel like I was close. Um, but here I actually sort of come into the, I come into this turn assuming I'm going to do a war against red because red can't stop me. I don't think at this point, um, There's, there's just not a way for them to get strong enough to defend. But I think the... I, even if he has, like, a raid or something, uh, uh, a plunder would be the only thing. And I don't actually do this... I'll, I don't consider this correctly when I'm looking at it, but if he plunders yellow, he can get resources, but then he wouldn't have military actions anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's... Work. Yeah, so I think he can... I think I can win this war by like six or eight strength or something. So my conclusion is that it's not worth it uh, eventually here. Like it's just not enough points. That's not going to be enough for me to win. Like I probably can't win anyway, <laughs> but I'm definitely not going to win with that war. If I, if I could get six or eight points away from you, it might make a difference. But from red, it's just not going to do it. Um. And also, now that I have the hybrid war in hand, impact of happiness is much more likely to come out. And I have these extra unhappy faces with impact of happiness is, would suck as well. They're minus four points each. Yeah, so it's... So that's not going to work. I, I'm, so eventually I think about this war for a while and then I, I, it just is not going to be worth it. Pretty soon here, I realized that I don't want to do it. Okay. And so I'm now, now I'm looking at it thinking, oh, this, is, this is not a very good idea. And so the, so I play Impact of Architecture instead. And International Agreement came out for you. I, yeah, and there's also this decision too about whether to play that reserves for food now resources because resources can help me get professional sports but food helps me take six points from you on your wonder um, um so I, I i do the food for the wonder and now i'm just hoping i can draw impact population that would be a huge one yeah and that's about the turn Oh yeah, you remember what happens here? <laughs> so I'm going to end with 120 points. And you have 120 points. Oh yes, this this is the, I actually didn't even know this was how the rules worked. Yeah. Yeah, I mean whoever's first wins, right? And and also I I don't account for this either, the fact that the age is ending. Um or will be ending soon. And I'm going to lose that yellow token there. So I'm going to have this uh, discontent worker anyway. And I just don't even realize that, you know, there's so many moving pieces. I, I don't take that into account. But if I would have, it is possible that I might have built a religion. And if I would have built a religion, then the next things would have changed also. Yeah, it would have been a very powerful religion that would have been worth like... In 11, 15. Something like that, yeah. 15 points. That's a lot of points for religion. wonder who put in National Pride. I know. It's not I a mean, good event for... 
Nostradamus maybe back when they were ahead. Because we have not played a lot of events. It's been a lot of aggressions and stuff at this point. So it could have been that long ago. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, all right. So anyway, what's going to happen here? I think I'm just... Oh, there was some question there about, just real quick, like taking engineering or military theory. I had impact of government or progress. I had impact of progress in. And uh, so military theory would have given me six for impact of progress, but engineering would almost certainly have been taken by red was my thought. Uh -huh. And that would have given red six and uh, plus possibly another movies with Chaplin. And that didn't seem like a good risk. So here, here it is. National pride comes out in Kratai, but you get it because you're, you're before me. Yeah. Yeah. That was unfortunate. Okay, Akio gets stronger. Yeah, but the tank, modern infantry, endowment for the arts. And now you're up. Yeah, at this point it's almost just like kind of... Yeah, it's over. <laughs> I mean, at this point it's over. This is where I put an impact of wonders. Um, the civil unrest comes in. I mean, at this point I think I actually start like calcing out all the impacts and I don't think it's possible for me to lose. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's one turn out. Um, upgrade there. There's nothing else really to do. Oh yeah, and there are, the, there are the two computers at the very end. Yeah, the two computers. I think I just do this to like make it seem like impact of science is in or something. Sure. Also, the impact of strength is just sitting in my hand. <laughs> I mean, I was like trying to like maximize my score, but I think it's. Yep. It's like the three acts where you're going to do way better are, would be like population, especially harmony, and there's like one other one where yeah. you're doing way better. But I, I definitely saw the telegraphed harmony where you're 777, but. Yeah, yeah. Not enough points. No. At this point, I think I'm just trying to hold on a second. Just, just have a good showing. All right, final turn. You are, um, you have a formidable lead at this point. And I, th yeah, I just, oh, sort of figure out what the turn's going to look like. So professional sports and tanks for Nobel Prize, build those for impact of architecture and build that last irrigation. It's funny. I never, I never upgrade those um, agricultures to irrigation, irrigations. They, they never got upgraded. Yeah. So I raid him just because there's nothing else to do, and there is a semi chance it could work, but it doesn't. So we go through the turn. Professional sports. Uh, and then I, I think figured, I oh, who put in competition based on this turn, but I guess you did not. Somebody else did. did. And then I guess I just build an agriculture so I can upgrade a, to a tank there. Oops. And um, let's see the last turn here. So I feel OK about second place for the most part here. But it's close. So he plays for five points because of Silk Road. It's always surprising to see a number I'm not used to there. Um, but he gets the mechanized egg, computers, he takes it and then destroys the alchemy. It's the irony there. Um, uh, develop, builds a movie and a team sport, so that'll be good. Your last turn. It's impact of strength, which I know I can win. I mean, there's some math on, like, this is basically, like, two points better than the line where I just build a religion. Yeah. So you get, say, another tactic, and that's the turn. So impact of architecture. 
So I, I win that at least. <laughs> yep. Harmony. That's a good harmony showing, I think, 28. It's like the highest you can realistically get in a real game, not against the bots or something. Yeah. Strength. That was mine. Those Wonders also was, mine. was yours also. I wonder who did culture. Boy, red. red. Yeah, red would make sense. And government, that was mine also. I was wondering where government came from. I think I think government was mine. I'm pretty sure it was. All right, and then you won. Hey, congrats, uh, you know, GGs. Yeah, um, good game. <laughs> We're not in the same division for the three-person version of this event, even though we're at the same level or whatever, so uh, we won't have to play each other. No, no. They were they were definitely fun. Yeah, they were. Uh, I don't think I felt... I, I didn't feel the pressure of our matchup probably until this match, maybe the end of our three-player match. I was like, oh, this is going to be important. But that one I was... Uh, did not win that one either. Yeah. yeah, so I had to take some really, or I chose to take some really risky lines early, but they worked out and put me in a good position. I regret the air forces, and I regret passing the military buildup. Those are the things I probably regret the most. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I guess I had a strong start through age one, but then, you know, Bach took a long time, the coal or yeah, coal took a long time. Computers took a long time. Those those all really really hurt. And I guess it's interesting watching it back. How much of that I can, you know, if I wanted to. There's a lot of other factors in play, but trace that back to taking an irrigation versus an iron on that early turn, just you know, to try irrigation instead of iron. That's. <laughs> You know, the iron there could have made a big difference throughout. Like, I would have had that one instead of you, and resources would have been, it would have been interesting to, you know, would have been different. Yeah, it's weird looking back on these games, how much is hinge on some really early decision. Yeah. Well, cool. All right, thanks for having me on. That was fun. That was fun. I, I enjoyed it. I, it was, uh. Hey, it's me again, uh, present day, Elmerick. Uh The recording kind of ended abruptly there, so I thought I'd just jump in and say thank you again to Deluxe for doing this with me. Thank you again to you for watching it, and uh, I hope to talk to you all again soon.